Now verse 7 is very, very beautiful. We, but, with all of that greatness of what it is, we have this treasure in an earthen what? Vessel. Uh, that's something. Well, you don't have to be a sloppy looking vessel. It doesn't say that. It says earthen vessel, and I love that. But it doesn't say you have to be, you know, all dirty, look like a bunch of income poop from no place, and act like, no, no, no. If you have a great mission and a great calling, you ought to walk like it. You ought to talk like it. You ought to throw your shoulders back and look like it. That's right. I know we got this in an earthen vessel because the Word says so. And that keeps us very humble knowing that whatever it is that God has given us, it's by His mercy and grace we have it. And it's not of ourselves, it's of His love. For God so what? Love. That's right. It's of His love and of His grace. But boy, once He's given it to us, now we're responsible for it. It, even though it's an earthen vessel. No reason why we can't be beautiful in the presentation of it. Shoot, if you want to catch a fish, you just don't give them an empty hook. You put a pretty little old dangly worm on it or something. Maybe a fly by night. I don't know what brand of fishing you do. But, uh, you see, golly, Make it beautiful, the greatness of God's Word. Well, the reason for that is that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us, right? Right. Troubled on every side, yet no matter how much trouble, those are just opportunities we are not what? Perplexed, but not, we never despair, persecuted, but, boy, we're not forsaken. Cast down, but never what? Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. That death of Christ, what he accomplished, we carry within us, for it's Christ where? In us. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our what? Man, oh man, isn't that beautiful? For we which live are always delivered unto death, for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. You know, as we hold forth the word. We having the very self-same spirit is the text. Man, that's something. The very self-same spirit which is by the faith of Jesus Christ. According as it is written, I have what? Believe, and therefore have I what? We also believe, and therefore we what? Amen. And we stand to speak that word, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. There's the hope of the return. Without the hope of the return of Christ, you might find the ministry discouraging at times. You might feel like giving up, but you never give up because of the hope of the return. People, we get the blessing of God now, and then we get the blessing throughout all eternity for our walk and our stand for him and our witnessing. For all things, are for your sakes that the next word abundant grace not just grace but heaped up grace abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of hope for which cause we faint not but though our outward man gets older every day perishes yet the inward Man, the Christ in you, the hope of glory is renewed by your speaking in tongues privately in your own life, day by day. That's the only way you can renew the inward man, because that inward man is spirit, right? 
You can't feed the spirit mashed potatoes and gravy. You have to feed it spirit. And that's the inward man. Now, look at the next verse, 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a what? Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we look not at the things which are what? But at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are, see are not seen are what? Right. We don't look at this world. This world is not my home. I'm just passing through. We don't look at the world because the world is seen and that's temporary. This thing you see up here, me, that's temporary. It's temporal. But what you can't see is the Christ in me. You, may, you can know I've got his presence by knowing that I speak in tongues, you know, like me seco kama like a santa. Then you know I have Christ in me, but it's still in that earthen vessel. And you don't look at that physical body. You look at the Christ within me. If you look at the physical side of human beings in the way ministry, you're going to sour. That's right. Because nobody is ever going to walk perfectly. If we could walk perfectly, we wouldn't need a Savior. We need a Savior to stand for us when we blow it. And it says he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Boy, oh boy. You can't look at people. You've got to look at the Word. Somebody the other week was just so mad at me for what we teach. Shoot. No use getting mad at me because it's the word that lives. I may not always do everything right, but I want to tell you the word's right. Try to do what's right, but you know, you can't please everybody, and therefore, no matter what you do, somebody's going to be upset by what you do. They didn't even like Jesus Christ when he was here upon earth. You know that. They got upset. He said he's always drinking wine with those wine bibbers. Yeah. <laughs> he's always down there in the in, in, with those sinners. Yeah. And there he was, messing around with that harlot. And they they ridiculed him because they figured he ought to be the kind of person that wouldn't dirty his hands. Well, the word says, they that are whole do not need a physician. They that be what? Sick. They need it. People, you and I have to go down to the valley of human need with the greatness of that mountaintop word of God. Take it right from the mountaintop down in that valley and let them see the greatness of that word again. That's why we don't look at the temporal, sir. We look at that Christ within people. I look at the potential of the Christ within you, the potential that's there in you. As you renew your mind, I see the Christ in you. Therefore, I can close my eyes and not see a lot of things a lot of people see. Because I've renewed my mind to the word to see the great potential that's latent within you. Because it's God in Christ in you. And that makes you more than a conqueror, gives you a life more than abundant. And you can do all things through Christ who does one thing. What? That's right. Now, wonderful. Boy, you said it. That's God's word.